Today we are going to look at how to drop the lowest grade in your gradebook in D2L. So here I am in the gradebook uh, section of D2L. You get there by just clicking on grades in the blue toolbar at the top. Once you are in the uh, grade section, we're going to first go to manage grades. So I'm going to click on manage grades. And in here I have a list of all of the grades and of course the different, um, the different topics for each grade. So here I have my assignments. Let's say for, um, let's see here I have weekly quizzes. So let's just say for weekly quizzes, I want to drop the lowest grade for my student um, out of all of the weekly quizzes. So maybe they don't do well on one week, I wanna drop that grade. So I click on the, um, on the topic here. That's uh, up here, you can create new items or categories. So my weekly quiz is my category. So I'm just gonna come here to weekly quizzes and next to weekly quizzes, I wanna edit this category. Click edit and it's going to take me to all of the rules for this category. Now, in order to drop the lowest grade, I have to distribute point items, uh, the points across all items. This means that in order to drop a grade in a category, every assignment that is in that category has to be worth the same value, the same point value. So all of my weekly quizzes are worth 10 points. So I'm gonna distribute that point value across the entire, all of the assignments. So every assignment that I put in this category is worth 10 points. Below that, I can um, list the number of uh, items that I want to drop. So if I wanna drop the highest score for each user, I'm not sure why you'd wanna do that. I could put a number there. I wanna drop the lowest. So I wanna drop one quiz, the lowest quiz grade, in um, in that category. If you want to drop two, you could change this to a two and you could drop the two, uh, the two lowest quiz grades. I'm just going to drop one. So the students have that one drop grade. If this is in exams, you can do this in your exams category. You just have to make sure the only rule for this is that all of the items within that category have to be the same point distribution or point value. Once that's all done, I'm going to click save and close. And when I go back to my enter grades field over here to see the grades, um, if my students had taken a quiz, I don't think they have. I don't have any uh, quizzes taken in here. Where's my weekly quizzes? Here are the weekly quizzes. Uh, no one's taken a quiz in here yet. So um, I don't have any drop grades, but if you do have someone that had, had taken it and there's a drop, you'll see like a little, it looks like a little uh, stop sign, a little octagon with a, um, uh, with a line through it. And that's telling you that that's the grade that has been dropped. So you know that a student grade will have been dropped. So that's how we drop the lowest grade in the gradebook so that you can do this for, again, you can do this for exams, quizzes, assignments, just make sure that you have the same point distribution across all items within a category. Have a great class.